Okay, so today, I guess it's recording. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, <clears throat> whenever we do this test using the MindLab Xterra 70 and the Fisher Goldbug Pro, both of them are, right now they're hooked up to their uh, smaller sniper coils, I guess you would say. The MindLab has a 6 inch coil and the Fisher Goldbug has a 5 inch coil. And what this uh, <clears throat> little test is going to do is show where underneath your coil when you're searching where your target actually is. They're both double D coils so the detection should be right down the center of the coil. Now when you remove a target out of the soil, <clears throat> dig it up and move it, you kind of want to know where it's at so uh, you run your coil over it and well, well that's how you find out it's out of the hole in the first place but you don't want to go chasing your target around so what you do is I use the front of the coil I, I come at the I come at the uh, move target with the front of the coil waving it back and forth until I get a signal and then I know it's underneath the coil but where underneath the coil is what I'm trying to figure out because like I said I use the tip of the coil to figure out where the target is and that's where I assume the, the target is under the tip of the coil so today I'm going to run a test and show exactly where on the coil the target actually is under the coil so we're going to start with the Fisher Goldbug 2 I'm going to turn it on right now and let the ground balance it and all that good stuff. I'm at a sensitivity of, uh, well, let's not worry about sensitivity right now. Right now I'm at, uh, just get a ground balance real quick. My threshold, because I'm running it at a threshold of 5, I'm going to turn up my sensitivity until I just start to get a chatter. It's just, right now I'm at a gain of 50, 55, okay, what am I at there, I'm at a, I'm not real sure. But I know I'm getting a signal, a positive signal as I approach the ground with the detector. Do it right here. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm going to turn it down just a hair. I just want a positive signal, but I don't want so much of a positive signal that I'm getting bad readings from the ground. Okay, there, it's a real soft positive signal. And right here on this uh, card, I have a piece of... Uh, or, or I have a bird shot taped to it. And these gold detectors are really great at finding bird shot. So that's what I'm going to use as a target. The horizontal line on the card represents a, uh, it goes this way, it represents a uh, double D part of the coil, or a vertical line rather. And this horizontal line represents where underneath the coil the target is. So let's uh let's find out where this gold bug is. Okay, I'm hearing it right there. I don't know if you can hear it. I hear quads or motorcycles in the background. Nice day today to be riding around. I'm gonna have to turn up the threshold because of the quads. Probably a worse day to do a test. Yeah, they're going to be riding around all over here. I'm going to have to move to a different location because I'm not going to compete with a with a motorcycle. I'm at a gain now of uh, nine. I'm at a gain of ten right now. 
it's really loud. Let's try nine. Let's try eight. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't know they were going to be riding through there. Pretty crazy. Everybody wants to have fun on the weekends. Okay, here we go again. I'm just a little bit positive. About right there on the coil, which is about where that arch is above the gold bug. That's the front of the coil. So if you were to find a target, it'd be just underneath that arch down the center of the coil. Now just for the heck of it, let's go backwards and approach that target. So right there, just a little bit behind those uh, tighteners, is, is where it's picking up a good solid signal. So that's how much <coughs> of that coil you're utilizing when you're out there searching for gold. And if you know the length of your detection area, you realize after seeing that, that you know that you have to overlap your sleeves more in order to cover, now there's targets underneath, there's a lot of hot rocks around here. You know you need to overlap your swings closer together in order to cover all the ground. Otherwise you're missing ground. So now we're gonna try the, now we're gonna do the Xterra 70. I already ground balanced it. Well, let's see what it does. <laughs> First, I put it in the tracking, and then I get it ground balanced, take it out of tracking, run it in fix, because that's what the other detector is running at. Okay. Now, let's do the same thing. Approach the target. Okay, there's a good solid sound. So we're... We're about right there, right about the tip of the coil. Maybe half inch in it, and then we're gonna go around to the front, or to the back of the coil and approach it. See where the detection. About right there, another half inch in from the back. So you're basically utilizing that whole, uh, that whole coil to, uh, to search with so your search doesn't have to be overlapped as much you, you're pretty much using that whole coil to search with and this test this little card test just shows you where your coil hot spot where your detection area is underneath your coil I hope this helps people I'm going to switch out these coils now I'm going to put a uh, the elliptical coils on it now the elliptical coil that came with the gold bug pro is longer it's like the 11 inch coil. So it's gonna see more ground. It's not really for prospecting, I wouldn't think. I would think more it's for uh, relic hunting and coin shooting, stuff like that, because it's so big, you wanna see kinda of deep. But we'll give it a try, see how it goes. Um, I don't have the 10 by five or whatever size it is, co uh, elliptical coil for the gold bug, Fisher gold bug, but we'll see how that coil does. And I'll put the coil on for the Mine Lab Xterra 70, and I'll be right back with you guys.